There's a common misconception out there that to have an eating disorder, a person has had to have lost a significant amount of weight. Certainly, if an adolescent has lost a significant amount of weight, that should prompt concern, both for medical reasons and for a possible underlying eating disorder. However, in many cases, patients with eating disorders actually have a normal weight or are even overweight. So the number on the scale doesn't tell the entire story. When parents ask me about what to look for in terms of determining if their child may or may not have an eating disorder, I tell them to look at a few key things. First, when patients are developing disordered eating behaviors or have already developed an actual eating disorder, they tend to be very preoccupied with their body image. Patients who are developing eating disorders are very sensitive to how others perceive their body and oftentimes have distorted views of their own body. For example, a patient who has a very healthy normal weight may see themselves as being quite overweight. Other behaviors that you may notice in a patient who's at risk of developing an eating disorder are meticulously checking food labels. Many times parents will tell me that when they go grocery shopping with their child, they'll notice their child taking cans or packages off the shelf, looking at the food label and then returning certain items of food. There also may be certain ritualistic behaviors around eating, such as cutting food into very, very tiny pieces when the family is sitting down to have a dinner. In addition, as patients become more and more self-conscious about their bodies, they may try and hide their physical shape. Some patients with eating disorders dress in very baggy, oversized clothes. Many times when the weather is quite warm out, we'll see patients with eating disorders continue to dress in very heavy, baggy sweatshirts and sweatpants. Another common disordered eating habit is to avoid entire groups of food. So for example, some patients with eating disorders will eat only fruits and vegetables. They'll eliminate all carbohydrates, eliminate all sources of meat. When we see patients begin to eliminate entire food groups like that, we do get concerned about what their motivations are and also about how their eating habits are affecting their overall health. Parents know their kids better than anybody else. They're the ones who see them at home, see them when their kids are at their most comfortable state. If you're concerned that your child is developing disordered eating habits or is preoccupied with their body image, talk to them about it. I recommend being very open and honest when you talk with kids about these issues. It's also very important to be really non-judgmental.